been an absolutely stunning week for all of us in the north, but obviously essential to all of that is the support that we receive from Red Cross volunteers. Without them, you can't host an event like this. We've had injuries at virtually every event and every sport, and it's going to happen. But how we respond to that and how we react to that is what really matters. And the British Red Cross has been right there uh, providing support all the way, and we thank their, we thank their support. 99.9% .9 of people appreciate us because of how hard we do work to make events safe and treating people. I see myself in 15 years still wearing the same uniform, still doing what I do because I do love it so much. Hannah was working at the Workplace and Fire Games today as one of the volunteers for the medal ceremony and she's taken ill so unfortunately there's not going to be a great afternoon after all. <laughs> We'll see this and uh, let them know that we're, we're just leaving we'll the hospital. Just seen somebody that uh, we think might have uh, picked up a, a flu virus. We've had everything from people with splinters to drug overdoses to one gentleman who broke his leg jumping off a car because he thought it was a cow. There were some people that came with tent injuries. We've got lots of people who've had a bit too much to drink and it's just dealing with them and making sure they're okay and they're ready to get back out there and have more fun. We're out in the middle of the country uh, side here in uh, Glaston Budget near Wimeswold and um, we'll be sent off in tag teams. Two people uh, will go on a shift on a rotation basis up at the, the various marquees. We got the equipment to be able to uh, administer any first aid and so the public can uh, turn to us whenever they want. Anything more complicated, we send them or escort them down to this tent. This is um, the field hospital, which is located at the end of the course for the Great North Run, which is a half marathon um, that's the biggest one in the world, and the British Red Cross are leading the provision of medical cover. We've got a huge number of volunteers, nearly 500 volunteers, from a multitude of different organisations working with us today to provide this cover. From my point of view, what the Red Cross have brought to this event is a, in a certainly a degree of professionalism. And they have a, an enormous infrastructure backup. You know, they provide a lot of our equipment and so on, which is invaluable to me. It's such a big logistical event, and in terms of the manpower, both none of the agency could achieve what we're achieving today. What better way to spend your Sunday than actually making, well, having such a positive impact on people's lives and even saving people's lives? Uh, it's the perfect Sunday. Really everyone gets a lot of different things out of um, volunteering. We get to experience treating um, different casualties to what we would do in our local areas um, and we get to meet Red Cross volunteers from all over the country and the Red Cross um, is like a family really, we get to meet lots of new friends.